This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Excel 2013 allows you to utilize data model relationships. And these data model relationships can be brought in from other locations, let's say an access database, or you can create your own relationships. So I want to show you how you can create your own relationships so that data can be connected together. And then that way, you can use your pivot table tool to grab data from multiple tables. So let me show you what I have going on here. I have two existing tables. One is a table, an Excel table. This lives and resides in Excel. And it's information about the Olympics, right? And it has the discipline. And I want you to take special note of this discipline ID field and then the sport ID, although we don't need the sport ID for what we're working with this time. And then we have a second table. And this table, again, resides in Excel. And this table is about the, the medals, excuse me, that have been earned over the years. And I want you to notice column I here is that exact same discipline ID. So these two tables can be connected. They're not currently. They're just totally separate Excel spreadsheets. But they can be connected via that discipline ID to build a relationship between the two items. They'll, they'll become tables. So let me look at, let's look at how to do this. First of all, we're going to copy because I don't want to change the existing information. So what I want to do is just copy this. So I'm simply going to create a copy and put it in a brand new book. So I'll copy the metals. OK, so now I no longer need the metals. I'm going to go ahead and close that. No, I don't want to save my changes. And then I want to go get the disciplines. And I'll right click on disciplines, same thing. I simply want to copy this sheet, and I want to put it into the book that I just created into book one. And now I no longer need the discipline, so I'll go ahead and close that. So now I have one thing open in Excel. And what I have open in Excel is a sheet tab named disciplines and a sheet tab named table, excuse me, medals. So the first thing I want to do is convert these to tables. So I'm going to go ahead and double click here on uh, the ribbon so I can uh, expand them so I can see actually what's under here. And on insert, I'm just going to click table. And my table has headers. And so now I have converted that data into a table. And I want to give it a name. So if you've not done that before, all I'm doing is clicking on the table. And there's a table tool on the design tab and under table name right here. Um, discipline list is what I'm going to call that. Because if you use a name that already exists, let's say discipline, it will tell you that already exists somewhere. So I want to make sure I use something that does not exist. And then metal, same thing. So we'll do the insert. And then table, we'll just convert this to a table. And then the same thing, I'm on the table. And on table tools, we're going to call this metals list. Now, both of these tables have a name, metals list and discipline list is what we have created here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to insert a pivot table. And I'm just, because I'm here, because I'm on the disciplines table, I'm going to go ahead and click there. And then do insert and pivot table. Now on the insert pivot table dialog box, I have my range selected, which is the actual table. And I want to put it on a new worksheet. All of that is perfect. But I have to add this data to the data model. I want to make sure I choose add this data to the data model. And then I say OK. Now watch what happens. When I go into my pivot table, let me just collapse here because I want to focus on this side. When I go into the pivot table, here's the active table. That's the table that I just turned into, or I'm going to turn into a pivot table. Right? There's the three fields that I had. However, what happens when I say, hey, go look at that data model. It goes out into my Excel spreadsheet. And it says, well, there's some other things out there also, some other tables that could be utilized. And so when I click on all, look what happens. Now I have the discipline list and the metals list. Now you'll notice these become the names of my table. right? I put that underscore in there to help you visualize that, to help you see it clearly. And you can't use spaces in those names. So I just make it 
a little more visible for us. So now I have disciplines and I have the mentals. Now trust me, there's a little problem here, okay? But we're gonna pretend like there's no problem, but there is a problem, and that problem is, is that these two tables, they don't have any idea how they're connected to one another. They just know that they both exist out there. And so when I go in here to make a pivot table, I'm going to have a little problem. But that's all right. I want to show you what happens when you have the problem. So from the discipline table, I'm going to take the discipline field and drop it down into the rows. And then from the, let me collapse that, from the metals table, I'm going to go grab gender and drop gender into the column. Whoop, it didn't let go. There we go. Gender into the column. And I want to also drop gender into the values because what I'm interested in is how many men and how many women, oops, look at my numbers, uh, earned medals. <laughs> yeah, that's just a little bit of a problem. Something's not behaving well there. And the reason is, is it has no idea how these two tables are connected. So it's just grabbing everything. For instance, three is the total of any, of any count for both men and women. And so it's, it's just a problem. But remember, it's because relationships weren't created. So it's warning me. Let me resize over here so you can see. Relationships between tables may be needed. And that is true. I did need to create relationships. Now, they're warning me here. But if they didn't warn you, you, would, you could do this ahead of time. But since they're warning me, I'm going to go ahead and use this Create button. And when I use Create button, here's this great dialog box that says, OK, create the relationship. Well, here's what I know about these two tables. I know that the two tables are connected through a, a key, right? The primary key and the foreign key. But I can't select a key until I select a table. Now, the main table with the primary key is this table here. It's the, met oops, excuse me, not the metals. It's the one above metals. I can't get to the metals. But it's on the discipline list. There we go. It's on the discipline list. And now look, now I can go out and I can grab a field, and it's a discipline ID field. And the table that's related to it is the metals list table, right? And it's also the discipline ID. See how it automatically grabbed that exact same field? Because it understands, oh, that's how those two are connected. So then I say OK. And once I say OK, aha, uh -huh, there we go. Now my data is fixed, if you will, because now the data understands how it talks to one another, how the two tables can speak to one another, how the two tables can talk to one another. And so it shows you that you can take data that had no connection created, and as long as the fields exist, how it can actually be created. So it's very, very, very nice. Now, let me show you, though, um, wh what you can do if you, if, you, um, if you don't have the relationship built. See how you have here on the Analyze table? You can just click the Relationships button right there. Now let me show you where I was. Analyze Relationship under Calculations. Now I have this relationship built now, but if I did not have that relationship built, I would have just clicked New. Does that look familiar? Right, so either wait until the pivot table here, wait until the pivot table field navigation pane says, wait, I think you have a problem, or don't, just wait Get your tables inside of your pivot table and then go create your relationship. It doesn't matter which order you do it in. What matters is that you create the proper relationship. And remember, the rule is the same field must exist in both tables in order for those two tables to become related. And then that way, you can utilize the power behind the data model relationships within Excel and pull multiple tables into one pivot table. Here's another quick pop quiz question. What file type might be used when importing data as a pivot table? A, Word, B, PowerPoint, C, Access, D, InfoPath. The correct answer, C, access. You can definitely utilize tables within access to import into Excel and use the data as a pivot table. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.